My name is Alana De La Garza, or Alana De La Garza, if you feel spicy. Um, and I play Detective Joe Martinez. What is it like stepping into this world of forever? Um, you know, forever is a fantastical procedural. You know, oh, I just came up with that. That's kind of good, right? Um, but yeah, it's it's um, it has this fantasy element that you really buy into about this Emmy who you know, dies over and over, he's immortal, It doesn't know why, and he's become an Emmy to figure it out, and to figure out how to die, and how to end it, and how to stop the cycle. Um, and he goes on these journeys that you go on with him, uh, whether it's in the past, and these beautiful flashbacks, and you learn about his life, or in, you know, the present, and you learn about his life that way, and I'm in the present life, I keep trying to convince the creator, Matt, to put me in a flashback, but he will not. <laughs> um, I just want to wear the costumes. They're so cool. Uh, but yeah, um, so we get to form this kind of unlikely friendship and um, partnership and solve crimes together and go on that adventure ride. It's fun. Awesome. Well, what really separates Forever from other procedural dramas? Well, I think Matt Miller did a beautiful job when he created this. He married a serialized and a, pers uh, and a uh, procedural together. And so you get to kind of tune in for these one hour mini movies, um, but you also have that ongoing line that you're learning about the characters, you're learning about Henry and his past, and um, you kind of get the best of both worlds and you buy into it. They, they do a really, really good job of portraying it and um, doing the flashbacks right, you know what I mean? And, and this, whatever CGI and all of the special things that it takes, you know, that makeup and the hair and on the dead bodies and the body parts. And it's pretty intense and they do a great job. Like we have a really strong team and I'm really proud of them. I've done a lot of procedurals, you know, um, they're, they're good, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Now, since you've been bringing up flashbacks, what time era would you want to be a part of if you were in a, a flashback? Ooh, that's a good one. You know, um, I'm going to go with the 1950s. Yeah. No particular reason, but I really like full skirts. Just saying. I would have been really in style back then. <laughs> awesome. And with uh, com uh, what part does Comic-Con and events similar to this help create a fan base for new shows? Well, Comic-Con's so important. I mean, this is where all of the fantasy lovers come, right? And, um, you know, to be able to visit with them and get to know them and get to say, hey, this is our show, I hope you love it. Um, it's huge. I mean, this is where it starts with the people that watch your show. And so, you know, I'm, I am one of them. <laughs> so, you know, it's fun just to be here and be a part of it and then also to be able to share something that you really love and hope that they love and respect. So, there we are. Awesome. And my last question, uh, your show really deals with immortality and how sometimes it's a blessing, but sometimes it's kind of really a curse. Would you choose immortality if you had uh, the ability to? You know, I would do immortality light, I think, if I could. You know, if I could choose, like, okay, yeah, maybe, like, you know, 200 maybe. Or, like, if I could, you know, choose 10 people to take with me, you know, like my kids, my husband, you know what I mean? Um, I don't think you're supposed to outlive your babies. So that would be, like, ugh. You know, so yeah, immortality light, that's what I'm going for.